Okay, listen, our first guest today holds a very special place in my heart because he's a fellow Apple Valley High School alum. He's also the creator of one of the best hot sauces in all the land. It is a staple at you, our house, and I know at yours, too. Yep, it certainly is, and I'm almost out. You're completely out already. <laughs> so uh, so Craig Kaiser from Cry Baby Craig is adding a spicy, get this, a spicy vodka to his resume. Ah. And he's here in the TCL kitchen to show us how to use a simple pasta recipe. Oh, my gosh, Hello. and you brought a special guest. Guest, introduce us to your little friend here. This is the namesake of the brand. This is Craig. Yeah. This is little CJ. Awesome. Little CJ. And it's you great were the one you. crying? You were a crybaby? Yes. You don't seem like a crybaby to me. You seem pretty delightful. Well, who's not when you're like <laughs> <laughs> four months old? Were you a crybaby because your dad was testing hot sauces, or were you just crying because, you know, you were young? You're just a baby. Um, just because I was young. You were yeah. a baby. All yeah. right, here, get on in here a little, Craig. Let's see. Okay, so, Craig, we love your hot sauce. Remind everybody what's so different about Crybaby Craig's, and it's just got this delicious flavor. Yeah, we, we trailblaze manufacturing practice. Uh, it's not cooked, it's not pasteurized, but yet it's still shelf-stable. Mm -hmm. And that was something that no one was doing and we had to fight for that process for about two years but then we had enough data and then we said we'll be the first oh. and we are still well I, I, I've consulted a couple of people uh -huh. so I, I would honestly say it won't be too much longer until other people are making it like this because it's simpler yep. mm -hmm. and I think you get a, a better yield and flavor it's so yeah. flavorful because it's not just hot it's you know like if you think of like a Tabasco hot it's just hot mm -hmm. yep. this is like Flavorful. And is it fermented? Is that how it is? There might be a little bit of fermentation okay. happening, but it, all it is is like grandma's pickles. Oh. We just, we pickle the peppers. We get all of our peppers from three organic farms, Northfield, Cannon Falls, Farmington. Mm -hmm. And we do, we did 22,000 pounds this past season. Ooh. And uh, we, we pickle a lot of peppers. We pickle peppers. Yeah. 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 I think that's about as much as he can tell you without, you know, I know. confidentiality. Gets, gets yeah, he's gonna, he's I'll gonna tell get, you more. He's going to get the muscle involved. <laughs> you know, there's probably some trade secrets. Now, CJ, have, have you always liked what your dad's making with the spice? Are you, you're 11 years old. Have you always liked spicy stuff? Um, it, was, I, it was about, like, a certain point of time I started liking spicy stuff. Yeah. But when I was, like, five, I didn't. I couldn't really tolerate mm -hmm. it. No, yeah. that's fair. I'd yeah, say that's his. Fair. I'd say uh, he had told somebody that he put Cholula on his pancakes, mm. and he actually started doing that over at uh, our kitchen. Oh little, yeah. Danny's little yeah. spot. Oh yeah. That was the first time I'd actually ever seen him use hot sauce. Oh my gosh. So well, I think you are really advanced for not only back then but even now because my kids, a little same age, I got a fifteen year old, still no hot sauce. But ditch the Cholula. Get this stuff instead. <laughs> yeah. What do you got going on here, Craig? Because what's the what's new to the lineup? So we did a collaboration with a distillery that I share a parking lot with down in Faribault. <laughs> They're called uh, Ten Thousand Drops. They make a vodka called Local. And we wanted to just try to do something geared towards uh, Bloody Marys. Oh. So it's, uh, it's, it utilizes not only the, the sauce, but also the pickled brine from pe uh, processing the chilies. Brilliant. Oh, nice. So it, it, it balances it out, and it gives it a little mouthfeel. Now, I wouldn't say it's something that people are drinking straight. Right, yeah, there not have, a sipper. There have been people yeah. telling me that. I said, good for you. <laughs> um, but I, I, I wanted to do something that could show you that it's more than a Bloody Mary. Um, so we did uh, all of vodka. Mm. And uh, I had some Cavatelli, right? Did I said yeah, that right? I think so. In the pantry, and I'm like, it's been here for a long time. You're going yeah, in the water for that. Let's do it. So that's what, we're, that's what we're doing today. And then I, I had some other little... Uh, tricks I wanted to share because I love it so much I think people should do it as well I in the summertime I get an abundant amount of these cherry tomatoes mm -hmm. and they seem they could go bad on you quick so I've started just like marinating them oh, in yeah. olive oil um, I like to throw them in the windowsill and let the sun kind of beat up on it a little bit yeah. um, but here we're gonna be I'm hungry. Not doing I know that's a great idea. Yeah. That's so simple. That's, it, all, that's really all you're doing is this olive oil and then put it yeah up. so I toss the I, I sliced them up and I think what will hold people back from wanting to do that is the work that it takes to cut those. Just a slice. So I was like, here's an opportunity to show a uh, trick. So, oh, wow. So you, you go home with soups and stuff. Yeah. You're going to have some of these lids at home. Yeah. Put the tomatoes on one lid, Here put another goes. one over it. Oh, my gosh. If oh, you no way. If you don't have a sharp knife at home, use a bread knife. 
Well, you could be like an infomercial guy for this, you know, some sort of chopper. But wait, there's more. <laughs> okay, that's, I love oh my it. gosh. How wonderful is that? Yeah, that's that's great. Uh, okay. I've I'm never seen one. that. I've never seen that done before. So I wanted to use this as an as a as a way to, you know, show show you that like. This is delicious. Delicious. And if you omit a lot of that oil, then you can make salsas. Oh. A little cilantro, a little lime juice. And Look, it's basil so circular. In there. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's no waste. You just keep, you just keep using every every bit of Order that. Order now, we'll give you three extras. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so, so the vodka is in with the. Is that just like a, t a classic tomato sauce? Pretty much. Okay. So we started by sweating out onions and garlic. Yep. And um, then we. Uh, I added sun-dried tomato paste, oh, that's just to good. give it a little depth. Mm -hmm. And then after that cooks down a little bit, then the vodka in the recipe, which is it makes this. Mm -hmm. uh, it was four ounces vodka. Cook it down. Um, try not to flambe it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it might make it aromatic. Yeah, because you want spicy. some of that alcohol to cook. You want off. you want it out. You want it to be boozy. And you know, like in my opinion, the vodka sauce. I think it's just something that people do because it's cool. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You don't like vodka doesn't really taste like anything, right? But this one does. This one right. does. So yes. yeah. um, four ounces vodka, then four ounces cream. Yep. Let it cook down. Um, I always reserve a little bit of the pasta water because you never know. Mm -hmm. um, but I kind of like where it's at right now. Looks so, let's, let's so try. good. Yeah, get after it. Here, let me. Um, you want to dish it up? We're gonna get some forks. Okay, so CJ, I gotta ask you. Yeah. When you see your dad's hot sauce, because you go to restaurants, it's every, you know, it's at your buddy Justin Sutherland's spots, like all these great spots. Is it cool to see what he's built and see that sitting on the tables? Um, yes, that's very cool. Yeah, are you proud of your dad? Yes. Yeah, we are too, you know. Why don't you Apple, step forward a little bit yeah. here? This is Apple Valley High School. That's, yeah. This is our and he's going to be a future AVHS alum. Oh, oh my man. gosh, I'll sign your yearbook. <laughs> you so you got to start thinking of products that you're going to create too. <laughs> all right, we got to grab a all right, bite of let's this, grab a little bite of this. Go. Do you want any cheese or any parsley or anything? I mean, and then here, you know. let's let's get some of these in there too. Okay. Yeah. Get, oh, get also, I would like to add, this is fairly kid friendly. Yeah. Like, this isn't ripping hot. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, you're not really gonna cry when you eat, when you eat this. No, right? let's try this. So the recipe is posted on TwinCitiesLive.com. We'll tell you that 